hello everybody may the lord god bless you welcome to my channel if this is your first time visiting go ahead hit the subscribe button down below so you can get connected with us and if you are someone who already had visited us i'm saying welcome back to my channel so I'm here today to talk about this experience that I had um, last year or in the beginning of this year with God. So this is basically what God revealed to me about his position on his children wearing makeup or ornaments. And I bless the Lord for that experience. And this is just so you know, this is a, a part two of a part one. So if you did not watch the part one, maybe you're not going to know what um, I'm talking about here. So I would suggest you go ahead, uh, watch the part one, which I will link the, the video down below in the description box. So everybody can watch it first and um, come back here to watch this uh, second part or this part two. And I would also uh, say that in the previous uh, video or the, the first part of my testimony concerning God's opinion about his daughters or his sons wearing makeup, um, my last sentence or my last word on that video was, I prayed God. I asked God to talk to me more because I really wanted to learn more. It was really my concern or I, I was extremely curious to learn more about because I'm the kind of person who really likes um, to know a lot. Like um, when God tells me something, I would always uh, go back to him to say, I know I have to do that even though I'm weak, even though I don't have the strength to obey to what you are telling me right away. But God, please reveal to me or talk to me more about this circumstance or talk to me about this thing or that and what what I can tell you my brothers and sisters God really does it when I come to him and ask him to talk to me about anything about any um, subject he really talks to me hallelujah so when I prayed God I told him to talk to me more to really talk to me deeply, to reveal to me um, the the link between uh, between us and makeup, or to reveal to me why can makeup can cause someone to to be exposed to demonic attacks? How can ornaments? can play such a big role in our spiritual life and how can those things can get the devil involved involved in our lives so that was basically my curiosity or my questions that that i asked god because i just wanted to know more about it and here i am one day in my house because i was i'll just go ahead and start talking because i don't want to waste any time in this introduction i'll just go ahead and and say everything so here i am in my house i was like i was having nightmares like every every week it's it's either three times uh a week I would see women, like naked women, coming toward me. I would see um, just 
strange things, strange women coming to to fight with me, like really coming to oppress me in my dreams. And I would do I'll take my authority because I am a newborn Christian. I know the Bible tells us that we have the power to thread upon the serpent scorpion and all the power of the enemy and nothing will hurt us and i'll just take my authority i'll take the power that god has given me i'll do some um um i will do some warfare like prayer i will do like i will really pray and those things were going away after i prayed those nightmares but they never stopped they never stopped i was having so many nightmares like I'm not going to sit here and talk about everything. So I'm just saying I was having nightmares like every week. I'll see witches coming uh, coming, coming into my house to fight me. I will see uh, demons like wearing people that I knew uh, faces to come and fight me. So I just picked those three examples so i can um talk about today one day i was sleeping in um in my bedroom so my spiritual eyes opened and i saw in the bathroom like a strange creature a strange creature who came out of the the toilet who came out of yeah the bathroom like the toilet and that creature was had a purplish or dark blue color and she had makeup all over her face and she had um those brazilian hair the one we usually wear extensions and she had long fake nails and believe me my brothers and sisters that was really disgusting those makeup didn't look good on her that hair did not look good on her and like when the bible calls them unclean spirits they are really unclean and their presence is so this is something that i I'm really lacking words to explain like how, how those attacks feels when evil spirits are coming to attack you. So you have this um, goosebumps feeling. You have this like, like really unclean, unclean, um, you, unclean presence like where you are. So that was basically what I was experiencing and she was there in the toilet. She came out of the toilet and when I woke up, I was, I went to Google to see if I could see a picture of this spirit because even though she had this purplish color or dark blue color, but she had the face of a woman like a woman that I know and that woman intro she is the one who introduced me first to makeup so she that demon had her face and as I was searching in the in Google I was like oh um strange spirit with purplish color this is what I basically saw and when I saw this picture I was like this is what this is the, the the spirit that I saw in my dream today so the picture that you see here is what I basically saw hallelujah it's what the Lord uh, opened my eyes to see how come demons were haunting me how come demons were coming after my life 
because of makeup, because of fake hair, because of fake nails, because of ornaments. And I did not know that. I didn't even know that they, they can be um, the... I didn't know that was another way that the devil uses to come into our lives. I didn't even know that that was another door that I could open or that was open uh, and that that made me just vulnerable spiritually even though I was praying even though I was um, serving God but just the fact that I was attached to makeup just the fact that I was wearing makeup it was a danger spiritually and when I pray they would go away but they were still coming they were still coming to haunt me every week and that demon so I'm coming back to my dream she was she was holding a knife so this kind of knife the the knife that you see here it was an antique knife if, if I can say an antique knife so I did my research like I could and this is what I found and just to, to to illustrate or to give you an idea of what I saw and this is what I saw she was holding that knife and standing on my bathroom and she was telling me I'm here to take you but how come I cannot take you and the distance from where I was and where she was standing I felt a strong presence of God in front of me I couldn't see anything but I felt the presence of the Lord in front of me that was obstructing her to come toward me so she stayed at a certain distance like a little far away from me like she couldn't reach me and she was so uh, she had this deceived face like she was deceived and she was complaining how come she cannot get to me that was the only thing she was saying how come I cannot get to you and I didn't get that quite well in my dream when she was saying oh I'm here to take you but how come I cannot get you how come I cannot reach where you are and there was this strong presence of God in front of me that protected me but God didn't allow me the Lord did not allow me to talk to that spirit to ask her why she was saying that because that was in my mind like why is she saying uh, I'm here to take you how come I cannot get you but the Lord didn't allow me to talk to her and I had this um, instant in my dream to take authority to take the power to rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus which I did and after I did that that spirit just vanished you see she just vanished and I continued praying and I said to God please God just keep on revealing to me things unveil unveil everything uh, that I'm blindsided everything that I should know about ornaments I should know about this and I kept on asking God why am I having nightmares why am I having bad dreams tonight when I'm sleeping so another day came I had a very same dream but that time was in my like in the eating in the the eating area uh, where, where I eat with my family like in the eating area of the, the eating room 
I just saw this spirit like I don't know penetrating my house like I, I don't know how that happens she just got into the house I don't know if it was through the window there was no door open in the dream so I just saw the spirit coming into my house and that time that spirit came straight to me and grabbed my hand. And like when she grabbed my hand, she had those long nails and they were so dirty. Like really dirty long nails when she grabbed me. And I was, I was rebuking her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I started fighting with her in the dream. We fought so hard. We fought so hard. And when I said in the mighty name of Jesus, she vanished. She disappeared. She left. But it didn't stop. And one day, another day, during the month of December, so that was the the, sec, the second uh, dream that I picked to to say. The, the third one is uh, the one that really turned me around. It's the the, the one that made me take um, I don't know a strong decision to just um, to just um, drop everything. To surrender myself to God and to be like God want me to be, Amen. So I I saw um during the month of of December I had those weaves that I bought online and they were really beautiful. And they were expensive and um, those extensions they were uh, really my favorite so since winter was starting I was like oh maybe I should put on my you know my weaves so I can be all set for the, the for the winter so believe me or not even though God was talking to me that was only a process to get me to where I am today. And I bless the Lord because that, my experience will also help you if you have questions about that. And I will go ahead and tell you, ask God. Because that is the last thing he told me. Tell my daughters to come and ask me. I won't take long. To reveal to them that I don't I don't want them wearing makeup and the things that I'm telling you today Jesus even told me churches will never talk about it because they are binded they mind are binded you see they won't talk to you about this it's either only you alone go to God and ask God then he will reveal that to you. Amen. So, I took those weaves. I put them in my head. Because I used to do my, until today, I do my hair all alone. I don't go to the hair salons or what, whatsoever. I was, I, I did my hair that night. And I don't remember the specific day. Or the specific date but I still know that it was a Thursday a Thursday in the month of December 2000 um, 2018 yeah so last December I took the hair I put it on and the very that like the very same night after I was done wearing my weaves or sewing my weaves, I felt the Holy Spirit really saddened in my heart. And if you're a Christian, you know what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit was like telling me, why did you do this? Despite the fact that you are seeing demons wearing those weaves. 
those long, very, very long weeds, Brazilian weeds. Why did you still do that? So, this is the picture of what I did. So, I put this picture so you can see the type of hair I, I wore on that night. And as I was sleeping, in the middle of the night, my beloved brothers and sisters, this time it wasn't a dream. Now, it was a vision. Because my eyes just opened. And I saw on the side of my bedroom window, there was a mermaid. I saw a woman, part fish, half fish, half woman. And after doing my research, I didn't even do a research, if I have to be honest. I was watching TV with my husband because the next day after seeing that dream, I told my husband, hey honey, this is what I saw tonight. And then we were watching Freeform a channel here in America. We were watching Freeform and I saw the trailer of this TV series, Siren. I don't know, Siren. And then I right away had goosebumps and I told my husband, this is the spirit that I saw today. This is the spirit that I saw today. I did not see a mermaid like Ariel, this little girl uh, uh, from Disney, the little mermaid. Uh-uh, not that pretty girl. She was a demon. Believe me, a demon. And she looked so much like um, like the, this TV show, if at least you are watching it or what, or if you know what I'm talking about, Siren. Yeah. So I will link the I'll put the picture here. Do you see? So this is what I saw. Yeah. She was standing on my bedroom window. And she wasn't even saying a word. Just see her nails. You see her nails. You see her face with the cheekbone that we put here when we use when we we wear makeup to define her face like to to slim to slim her face you see she has that and you see the type of hair she has this type of hair looks exactly like brazilian hair and i saw her standing next to my bedroom window and she wasn't saying a word she was like in an angry spirit angry spirit like full of hate all i could sense was the hate that was coming from her and that wasn't a dream it was a vision because my spiritual eyes opened and i could see what i was seeing all she did was raising her hands she raised her hands and when she dropped off her hands I saw a big wave first of all when she she when she she raised her hand I saw a big wave of water like ocean oceans wave a rise with her a huge ocean wave like I've never seen before and when she drops them down that wave came straight to me and just grabbed me from my bedroom, took me under the sea. And it was extremely dark. This was a horrifying experience. This was like a horror, a horror story. Like, I'm not the kind of person who really gets afraid. So I am this kind of person who who knows my authority in the Lord. I know my power and I use it to rebuke all evil spirit. But that night I was so afraid like never before. 
So that took me under the sea and it was extremely dark. I could not see anything. I could not see anything. That darkness was so vivid, like so dark, like you could touch the dark. You could touch the darkness. You just get what I'm saying. You could touch the darkness under the water. And next to me, I saw, oh Jesus, Jesus is love, my brothers and sisters. Jesus is love. He didn't leave me alone. He was there with me. I saw this creature full of light. Like his body was made of light. There was light everywhere. Light were coming like light were coming from and like through. Like I don't know this beautiful creature of light and his presence next to me was just an assurance. I was so assured and all my fears just one away because of his presence he holds my left hand and took me like he swam up took me out of the water and i found myself on the like on the seashore and when i opened my eyes i wasn't on the seashore but i was in my bed and that night I just saw at the same time I saw my bedroom door open and I saw Jesus Christ coming in and his presence was heaven to me his presence took all my fears away his presence gave me strength and I saw Jesus beautiful Jesus he sat on my bed and he started talking to me he started telling me do you now see this is the question that Jesus asked me do you now see the danger that you were running wearing makeup ornament wearing all these things and the Lord told me clearly, this is the work of the devil. These are the things of demons. When I created my daughters, I didn't intend them to wear makeup or to correct my work. If that was possible, you would have found a tree that produces makeup instead of fruit. But if in the nature you've never found something like that, it's because that's not my idea. That's not my thought for you. So I'll stop here today and I'll ask you to go ahead, subscribe. And next time I'll come here just because of the time because I cannot take an, like an hour here. And I'll come back next time to now talk about what Jesus told me that night when he came to visit me. When he, when he, when he grabbed my hand, he pulled me out of that water. And I'll just talk about all the revelation. May the Lord God bless you. Uh, see you soon.